as someone doing accounts payable, after we've ran the suggest vendor checks process, the next thing we have to do is the check printing process. And sometimes due to, you know, checks getting stuck in a printer or check stock um, getting voided, we have to actually void checks. So today we're going to look at how to print checks in BC and how to void the check that has been printed and then reprint that check. Let's get started. Once we've created our payment journal and ran the suggest vendor payments process, we're now ready to print our checks. Two things we want to make sure on the payment journal that we've filled out correctly is the bank payment type. So in this case, I've set this to computer check, but this could easily be manual check or electronic payment. If we did not actually want to print the checks, so these have to be set for each one of the payments that we're going to process. The other field we need to populate is the payment method has to be set um, to a check payment for paying by check, or as you can see, there's other payment uh, methods that are available to us here. So I'll just go through and select each one of these. And we are now ready to go ahead and uh, process our check. So the next thing we want to do is actually click on the check button. And now we can preview the checks, we can print the checks. So let's just hit preview. This will run a report for us. As you can see, we're now seeing the first document, um, the amount, how it's going to show up, uh, the payee, all that sort of information on the document. If I wanted to see this particular one, I can do the same thing. I would go to check once again. And we would preview the Graphic Design Institute uh, check here as well. So to actually now print the checks, we're going to go back to check and we're going to select print check. So this is bringing up a wizard for us once again, where we can select which account we're using, the last check number. So if we're using uh, pre-printed stock, uh, check stock, we want to have the last check number be the number we're putting into the printer to print on. We can select one check per vendor if we wanted uh, per document, which we wouldn't do. We could reprint checks. We could test do a test print, uh, pre-printed stuff. So we have a lot of different options here that are available to us. Then we can preview uh, the option or actually print, or we could send to uh, you know PDF as an example. So we've now put our check stock into the printer. We're ready to print our checks. So within the wizard, I have all the options I would want selected. I'm going to hit the print button. It's now generating report. And it's I'm now ready to print the physical checks. So as you can see here, I have the first check uh, that's printing out, second check, third check, on and on. So there's also different um, check formats you can use if you wanted to. You can switch those to be, you know, check stub stub or stub check. So in this case, it's stub and then the check below that. Once we've printed, I'm just going to cancel here and not physically print these, but we would now print, have printed the checks and we're ready to now post the checks uh, going forward. We also have the option to void checks. So for example, if we printed a check and um, something happened with the printer, we can easily go back into uh, check, select void check. And this specific check that we have highlighted, we're gonna void this one. So we're voiding 202, we're gonna click yes. This allows us to now void that specific check. And we could go ahead and go back to our check process and we're going to Go back to print check again. If I select, you know, our next check number is now 204, as you can see, and I go ahead and hit print. And as you can see, it's only printed the one check, not the five or so checks we had um, in the past um, batch process here. So it cancel. So that's the process. Now we're ready to go ahead and uh, post our, our particular check batch. We've printed all our checks. We would click go to post. 
yes, we want to post all the journal lines. Let's go ahead and posting all those lines. Everything's been posted within our payment journal. So that is the check printing process and void uh, check process. If you'd like to learn more about uh, the payment journals and posting and printing checks, please contact us at Profit by visiting us at www.profit.ca. Thank you.